Welcome to the Danatronics video tutorial series. Today's gauge is the MTG99 Hall Effect Magnetic Thickness Gauge. The MTG99 is capable of measuring most non-ferrous materials where you have access to both sides of the part with a maximum of one inch thickness. The MTG99 is an IP67 designed case with a 16 hour lithium ion rechargeable battery built into the unit and also a 32 gigabyte micro SD card for data storage. It has a nine key keypad located here with four function keys, a menu OK key, and four arrow keys. Let's go ahead and turn the gauge on by pressing the F1 power button. The MTG99 has a 15 minute warm up period to stabilize the gauge's temperature to the environment. While this is going on, we'll talk about a couple of the other features of the gauge. We have three different ball sizes in the standard package, a 1 16th, a 1 8th, and 3 16th diameter balls. These can be used for different thickness ranges and also different size radiuses in the material. Most non-ferrous materials can include plastic blow molded bottles, PVC pipe, composites, aluminum, titanium, just to name a few. Now that the warm up period is completed, let's do a calibration. To calibrate the gauge, we press the menu OK button. Right arrow key to do calibration. and we follow the directions on the screen located here. It says to remove the ball, then press the F4 Cal P. When that's completed, we put the ball on with its centering fixture and press F4 Cal key. Now it's asking for the 40 thousandths shim. And press F4. Now I adjust the thickness. The shim is 0 0.0396. And as you notice, we are there now. We press Cal. Now it's asking for the 240 thousandths shim. We press F4. And we make the adjustments necessary. And press F4. That completed the two point calibration, which gives us about a 3% accuracy to get down to 1% accuracy of your thickness, we'll do a multi-point calibration, which it's asking for now. So yes, we will add additional points. I'm going to add a 20 thousandths shim. It is correct in the way it stands. Now add an 80,000 shim. And if you notice on the side, it is adding those to our data point table. And 
and now a one hundred and sixty thousandths shim. I don't have any more points, so I press F1 done. And now our calibration is complete. The MTG99 also has a quick cal, which brings it back into any environmental changes. That is located on F4. It's asking me to remove the ball. And that is now complete. Every 15 minutes, it will prompt you to do a quick cal. And that can be accomplished the same way. You will notice on the screen itself, we have several measurement features. Min max located here and also a differential located here with the differential reference of 50 thousandths located at the top. I can clear the min max by pressing the clear min max button. At the top of the screen is the type of file plus the ID. It shows I'm in the measurement mode. 3 16th size ball, and I'm measuring in inches. We can change that to inches or millimeters as necessary. To access other measurement features, I press the menu OK button and slide down to measurements. You will notice we have alarm type average, ball size, differential type, the reference value for differential, the display rate, min max, and also we can display a strip chart. Many different materials can be measured, such as a blow molded bottle, I can reset my min max. And as you notice on the screen, it is displaying the min, the max, and the differential. If you recall, our differential was set at 50 thousandths. I am reading minus 37 thousandths is the differential. I can store this reading by pressing F1, save thickness. Other materials we are able to measure, composite panels, PVC pipe, aluminum, medical containers such as pill bottles, plastic masks, things of this sort. The internal file-based alphanumeric data logger allows us to store in the up to 32 gig micro SD card data that can then be downloaded directly into Microsoft Excel. We also have an optional foot switch to allow you to store data within the data logger itself. If you have any additional questions, please contact us at www.danatronics.com or you can reach us at sales at danatronics.com.